The father of a woman mauled to death by a lion says he feared getting a call like the one he received yesterday. His daughter volunteered at a wild animal park in California, went into a lion's den by herself. Bill Whitaker shows us the tragic result. The massive lion attacked the woman inside an enclosure at this private zoo east of Fresno. Officials say a worker tried to lure the animal into a nearby enclosure so rescuers could get to the badly injured woman. When it didn't work, officers shot and killed the animal. But it was too late for the dying woman, Diana Hansen. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the, our friend and family and to her family at this time and this trying time. We will keep you guys posted as things progress around here. Couscous the lion appeared on Ellen. He was just a few months old at the time. But look at those claws. I mean, you can imagine what this guy is going to be like when he weighs five or six hundred pounds. Oh, God, this I mean, is they're just amazing. incredible predators. <laughs> Investigators still don't know what provoked Couscous yesterday. Director Emeritus at the Columbus Zoo, Jack Hanna, says it's unusual for someone to go into an enclosure alone with a full-grown lion. It just doesn't sound right to me that no one was there with her in the cage with a lion. I don't know if it was feeding time or what went on, but that's the big question that has to be answered for me to understand what might have happened. A source familiar with Cat Haven tells CBS News accessing the lion's enclosure would mean violating the rules by opening one of several locked doors. 99% of the time, it's human error. When one of us gets hurt or injured or lose our life, uh, it's our fault, not the animal's fault. And once someone enters the lion's den, Hannah says, all bets are off. An animal like a full-grown lion in a situation can be like a grenade going off. It happens so fast, it's like nothing you've ever seen. For CBS This Morning, Bill Whitaker, Los Angeles.